Hey guys, it's Gabe. How's it going? Uh, is it good? Cool. This is sort of candid. The lighting is probably, you know, a seven. And, um, you know, my, my creative tripod happens to give you some really fierce angles right now. So work with it, girl. Yes, um, I'm here to make like a quick, fun, cute video for boys that like drag because all boys need some drag products in their life, right? And I am here with my top seven this month. These have been Slay the Game, Deal Breaker, Gotta Have Them. Ah! Like, that's how excited I get about these products, girl. And I'm going to get started seven because it's like a lucky number, right? So I got a few things from Smashbox, and I think I might start with those, girl. These were not in my first video. The first video I uploaded on my channel was uh, the basics, the very basics things I used to get ready to get uh, go out and drag or something like that, girl. You can check it out to see the improvement, honey. Anyways, yo, so this first one, check this out. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, girl. But the T is that it also has blemish control and acne treatment in it. So if you want your face to feel so fucking healthy, it's all about this right here. And when you apply it, holy guacamole, it literally feels like heaven. I'm not gonna put it on my face because I don't want anything in my face right now. I just did a Dead Sea mask a couple days ago and my face is like, girl, I am fine, I've, I've got it all. You know, so for those girls that like a really fierce, phenomenal highlight, I have like two things, but first we're gonna talk about those, you know, under eye, those nose contours, girl, giving you some real niche. Yes. Um, all right, girl, I picked this up. This is really nice, really creamy. I just was using Max concealer recently, but I decided to switch it up and grab a concealer from Smashbox. I love that it's so skinny. It reminds me of all those swordfish fucking, what do you call it, um, nose contours. <laughs> That's the word. This is going unedited, girl, because I do not have the time, so no bloopers. You're having a hair full frontal, raw dog style, everything. This, it's a little messy because I because I have been squeezing the shit out of it. I've been like, girl, give me... Mm. This is a really nice, bright, creamy kind of thing. And, um... I like that it's, like, wet. It's just so bomb. It's so, like, it goes on so matte and so, like, pigmented. Girl, I love it. Okay, the last thing from Smashbox too, because um, I was looking back on my days of drag when I was doing a heavy white lid when RuPaul's Drag Race season one and two were out, girl, and that was like the trend. Pandora was doing it, Michael McMorgan's was doing it, Homegirl Down the Street was doing it, Bill Clinton was doing it. Girl, everybody was doing the white lid, and I found this, and I wanted to, like, do a remake, and it is the closest thing to, like, a primer back in the day. I don't even know what I use, but Smashbox apparently has this lid primer. Girl, I'm living. I'm not even kidding you. Like, instead of doing those, like, clown white, girl, look, this goes on, like, fucking white out, honey. Slay the game. Are you kidding? So, anyways, I love that. Fourth one, just because it is so adorable, like all these other little things that I'm finding, but um, I don't know how I even got this one, but it came to be, and I've never used Dolce Gabbana for any type of foundation, and look at her, got her in a cute little thing, uh, and um, this is a 110 caramel. Girl, I literally feel like a fucking supermodel when I'm putting DMG on my face, and the T is that it has like this, like, Wand, it is so weird. But I'm gonna put it on the top, top swatch and show you. Girl, literally, it just feels like, 
Oh, melted ice cream. I love it. Go Dolce & Gabbana. Shouting them out because I've never seen anybody use their products and I for sure have not and I'm living for this right now. Feels good on the face. So, um, another, this is like, I felt like I had it because it's a cute collection and it just fit the part. Um, a homegirl back in Honolulu hooked me up with some samples from Sephora back in the day and I have had this little thing forever, girl. Um, I just have a thing for MAC and their mascara and they're black. Like, I feel like if you're using MAC in black, it's just like a heart attack, honey. No, I'm playing. Yo. I don't know. I just love MAC. I love the way this feels. It is the cutest little thing. It's the smallest mascara I've carried and used like multiple times in my drag looks. And I just can't get enough. And I'm not trying to ruin this boy look right now, but it's such a fluffy. All right. <laughs> Losing my mask points for that one, right? It's all good. All right, so anyways, I'm obsessed with lip colors. I used to do clown fucking lips, like Lisa Rinna lips, like no lips, boy George lips, girl. Eyeliners were like my thing, 100. It's probably what, you know, like brought me home. Those crowns and those sashes. And <laughs> I didn't ever get a sash or a crown, except for Burger King a couple times. Anyways, girl, these are my last two products. I hope you like them. I certainly like them. They are creamier than the crop of corn, honey. Um, I picked out these two because I love the color pink and red together. I think it's so romantic, so lovely, so phenomenal. And, oh my God, Rimmel, dude, you're killing it with this exaggerate lip liner. They are... Let me do one at a time, girl. They are seriously... Oh, my God. Great length, good texture, a draw line. But I love a good ombre lip girl, and this is definitely the cream lip to do that with. Blend, blend the fuck out of life. Well, that was fun. So, you know, um, <laughs> I'm not saying go and get these products, but these are literally my fave right now. Um, these bad boys. Always get your lips looking good, girl. You know, that's like the new thing this like century. Unless you don't want to be a lip person, don't. But lips is like, lips is a thing. Lips, lashes, a little bit of designer, you know what I mean? If you're on the runway, make sure your face is too, I guess, with your with your Dolce & Gabbana, but shout out to Smashbox. They've like really killed it in the last 10 years, you know, from their popularity into now like how well known they are and their products are quality, oh my God. So I'm loving all of my favorite little um, gotta have for your drag makeup collection tutorial extravaganza video. <laughs> All right, guys, um, that was straight out of the bathroom. I still have some headphones on. If I turn it on, hopefully it's not like Christian music. Sometimes it just like happens to be on, you know, autopilot or whatever. And I'm all like, go. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, happy, you know, August. I think we're still in August. I'm going to start making cool like monthly. These are my favorite fucking things because I see everybody doing it. And I'm like about it. I'm, I'm, I'm about it. Cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, give me some ideas. I'm sure I'll come up with good ones too. You know, you don't have to even worry about that. I'll check you later.